this problem, on, on number one, it's always, um, we always use these two formulas, that omega is 2 pi divided by uh, the period, right? And then, you know, tacitly, frequency is 1 over period, okay? And then the other one that we that, that this thing uses is, is that the velocity is equal to plus or minus uh, omega times the square root of uh, x naught, the amplitude squared minus the position squared, right? So the amplitude is 0 0.47, that's this guy, right? Uh, 0.23 is this guy, right? And then let's see, it's got, uh, it has a speed of, okay, so now we have this guy. So we have everything we need to figure out omega, right? So let's, uh, let's figure out omega, right? And then the question is, what's its period? Well, if we have omega, we can find out the period, right? So let's just plug it in here. We got 2.15 is equal to omega times the square root of 0.47 squared minus 0.23 squared, right? So now we can solve for this. I'm going to go 2.15, 2.15 divided by the square root of left parenthesis 0.47 squared minus 0.23 squared, right? And now, uh, let's see, what is that? Okay, so I'm getting omega is 5.24546 radians per second, right? And then if I want to find out uh, what the what the period is, I can use this guy, omega is 2 pi over t, right? So therefore, t is 2 pi over omega, right? So period is 2 pi over omega, right? So it's going to be uh, t is equal to 2 pi uh, divided by this number here, right? Divided by 5.24, whatever. So I'm going to go 2 times pi divided by the answer that I got. I got 1.197t is 1.1978 seconds. And we really only do have two sig figs, so we have to round to there. So I guess 1.2 seconds is good enough. Yeah? That's all this one is.